What up? What up? What up? Guys, it was long overdue. I haven't gave you guys a build video in a while. So guess what? Today I'm going to go ahead and bless you with a two in one. So I'm going to give you guys first the shack build that is for Pro-Am and the Rec. And then the second part is going to be... Well, I mean, you can't really say Shaq type of build for the second one because this one could shoot. But anyways, regardless of the fact, they're both dogs. they dogs in the paint, all right? So anyways, I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. So let's get straight into the video. But before we do that, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, New York Minute, and I'm back with another Liddy to the bitty video man if you guys are looking for players to run with make sure you guys join the discord i'll be leaving the link in the description below all right so let's get into the video man all right so the first part of this video is basically i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that you can't make this build in imperial you have to do it in metric system so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys so you click an empty slot rebirth doesn't matter if it's a rebirth or not then you go to center that doesn't matter either then you go seven two and then you drop the weight to the lowest you max out the wingspan so as you guys can see the vertical is a 73 the defensive rebound offensive rebound is a 93 so if i try to go up even slight it slightly a bit let's see so boom you even see that at 236 there's no way possible I could get his vertical to go to a 75, right? So, and then have also a 99 rebounding as well. So, with that said, let's back out. And I'm going to show you guys the Shaq build. And this is for the Pro-Am, guys. This Pro-Am wreck. You can't really use this build in the in the park. It's too slow. Um, and it can't really shoot. And in the park, you, you want more of a shooter. So, the second half of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the shooting version of this build for the part and um, the stage so you want to go to features as you guys saw right here you want to go to features you want to go to your settings then you want to change imperial to metric so the the build that I just showed you the one that you can't get the vertical was in imperial so this is metric system and you have to do this glitch build in metric system so you go to empty slot rebirth or not it doesn't matter you click on it so now make a center and doesn't matter now you want to put this up to 2.17 so you put this up to 2.17 you drop the weight all the way down right and then you max out the wingspan 244 now you want to go back to the weight you want to go back to the weight and you want to flicker with it a little bit and you'll see the stats on the side so you'll see it right here so if you play with it a little bit and you go to so you see right here already look at that uh, look at that guys the last build the 72 build you couldn't even get a 75 vertical with the 99 rebounding Oof. so you want to go ahead and continue and it has max wingspan guys so basically i'm gonna go ahead and go over the attributes with you guys um i haven't saved on my phone so don't mind me if i'm looking down um, so basically what I did was I maxed out the close shot, I maxed out the driving layup, I maxed out the driving dunk, and I maxed out his standing dunk, right? And then playmaking, I went all the way to 85, so you can have gold bullet passer and hall of fame break starter, and then with the interior defense, I kept this at a 96 because there's no, the only difference is 96 to 97 is post move lockdown, which is not really that important. If you want to, you know, stop the big man from backing you down, what you need is Hall of Fame brick wall. Um, so, and then we went perimeter defense max, steals max, blocks, I have it at a 98. Yep, I have it at a 98. Rebounding, obviously this build was made for the 99 rebounding, so you want to max that out. Speed, you want to max it out. Acceleration, you want to max it out. And you want to max out his vertical, which is a 75 burp. And you're going to get this to an 88 stamina because you have to go back to your free throw since you're playing Pro-Am. Since you're playing Pro-Am and you're playing... Um, 
if you're playing prime and rec with this build you obviously want to have a free throw so i know shaft doesn't have a free throw but you still need a, it's a video game guys so free throw 88 so that's the build right there guys that's the shack build right there now if you guys don't believe me that this only works in metric i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys i'm gonna create the build so take over i'm gonna just do whatever take over for now right so i'm gonna go ahead and complete the build so you guys see right here two-way facilitator right rudy gobert uh matumbo and robinson right so i'm gonna go ahead back and edit the build right so you guys still see it right here right i haven't changed anything so i'm gonna go ahead back i'm gonna go back to imperial I'm gonna show you guys that it's a 7-2 build. It's a 7-2 big name. So go back to your features, go back to the settings, then you scroll down, you change it back to, I'm changing back to Imperial so I can show you guys that it's a 7-2. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you guys um, just so you can see. So you guys see right here, the build we just made, 7-2, 235 pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this build so you guys can see that he still has the max out wingspan. So, peep this, guys. So, center, you guys see it. Look, max out wingspan, 7'2", 235 pounds. And you got a vertical of, if I hit continue, you guys see his stats. 75 vertical, 99 offensive and defensive rebounding. Nothing has changed. This is the build right here. and You could only make it in metric. All right, guys? So... Let me go ahead and show you guys the park version of this build. All right, guys. So for the park and the stage version of this build, the one that can shoot, basically, you don't even have to go back and change it to from Imperial to Metric. You can leave it at Imperial because once you have the build made, the big man made, the glitch build, it's already saved. So all you have to do is just edit the build, right? You edit the build, you see it was a 7-2. It's already glitched out. So you just drop the height to basically 7 foot. And you drop the weight all the way to 215. And you guys see right here, the vertical is an 85. On a regular build, you can't get a vertical of an 85 at 7 foot, 215 pounds, and 710 wingspan. And you also can't get a 91 rebounding. And guys... Take a look at that speed for me, please. Look at that speed. Speed and acceleration 74 and acceleration 71 on a seven foot big man. And you can actually shoot with this build. And also a big difference in this build is the driving dunk. The driving dunk on the regular seven foot, you can't get an 83 driving dunk. You can only get like a 79. So. Take a look at this, guys. Come on, man. This is crazy. If you're not playing with glitch build, trust me, you're at a disadvantage. Everybody's playing with a glitch build. So, like I said, if you're not playing with it, you're at a disadvantage. No matter how good you are, if you have two, if you have one guy that's a glitch build and another guy that isn't a glitch build, and they both have around the same skill set, the other guy that has a glitch build is obviously gonna over, is gonna outplay you, right? So, look at this, guys. This build right here get a 70. 4-3 ball and a mid-range of 80 which gives you Hall of Fame Sniper the, one of the most OP badges in the game so that's the build right there guys you can put the attributes whatever you want to put it you can put a you don't really need a high pass accuracy in the park um, you only need this at gold the break starter you can put interior defense up you can put perimeter defense all the way up steals up and you know, you obviously want to get that 91 rebounding blocks. You can max out the blocking. You can put that at a 98. Then you can put the speed all the way up to 74, 71. Max out the vertical. And then look at that 85 vert on a 7-2 build, man. On a 7-2 build. And you don't really need free throw because if you're going to play park and stage with it, you don't really need the free throw on it, right? So you're going to max out the... Uh, driving dunk you're gonna max out the standing dunk and i'm sorry hold on and then you're gonna max out the you're gonna put this down you're gonna put this all the way until you can get the grace under pressure on hall of fame guys so that's the build right there i honestly i improvise with this build you could probably do something better with it this was just off the top of the head the stats and stuff like that i kind of just did it on the fly 
So honestly, it's not bad. Look what you can do with this build. Look at the defensive stats on this build on a 7-2 and look at the speed on it. Woo! That joint is nasty, man. Listen, look, if you guys want more glitch build, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys, you know, if you guys want to see more build videos, if you guys want to see more IQ stuff, you know, talk to me, man. Conversate with me. Give me some feedback, all right? So it's your boy, New York Minute, and I'm out. Peace.